Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is an in between episode in the middle of two of our usual financial education videos. And we're publishing this extra video today because I wanted to share with you all the news that my new book, Our Future is Biotech, is out this week. And if, I, if you'll permit me for a moment, here it is, because I'm told you should share things like this when you do videos like this. Anyway, moving swiftly on, I know that many of you who follow this channel have been kind enough to read one or both of my existing books, How to Own the World and Live on Less, Invest the Rest. And if you enjoyed those ones and got anything out of them, then I really do hope that you will love this new book, Our Future is Biotech. I do believe it's my best book to date by some margin. I'm 10 years older now than when I first wrote How to Own the World After All, and dare I hope even a tiny bit wiser. And I've been focused on the biotech industry for nearly a decade now. So I believe that biotech is going to be incredibly important for all of us in the years ahead, which is why I've just spent three fairly miserable years working to write a book about it, and hence why I'm so keen to brandish it at the screen. Moving swiftly on. So today I want to take a few minutes to tell you all about it, given how crucial I believe this stuff is for all of us, and for your wealth, health and happiness in particular. So what's it all about? Well, Our Future is Biotech makes the case that the biotechnology and related industries are going to have a very significant and positive impact on all of us in the relatively near future and for many decades to come, for the next century, in fact, at least. In the last century, technology has transformed the human experience across the world and lifted several billion people out of poverty. This has been supercharged in recent decades by the arrival of the internet, smartphones, AI and machine learning, and created trillion plus dollar companies and household names like Apple, Amazon, Google and Microsoft. Tech has been the underlying driver of US shares having delivered an average annual return of more than 10% a year for more than a century, as we've looked at in several of our previous videos. My new book explains why biotech is next more or less simply because so many of our biggest remaining challenges as a species concern biological systems. As a species, we create real wealth by solving human problems, and most of our remaining problems are all about biology, whether that's curing cancer, sorting out our environment, or generating clean power. Biology has a huge role to play. In my experience, very few people realise just how much the industry is about to give us all. Sir Arthur C. Clarke, the British author who gave us 2001 A Space Odyssey, famously stated as one of his three laws that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Our future as biotech highlights a great deal of the magic going on out there already today. Science fact increasingly looks like science fiction, but relatively few people are aware of what is going on because very little of this stuff makes it into the mainstream press for all sorts of reasons that I cover in the book. And I find this extremely annoying, which is why I wrote a book about it. I think it's fair to say that when most people hear the word biotech, they assume that it refers to healthcare and to the development of drug therapies in the main. That is certainly a huge focus for the industry, but a key point to make about the book is that this is about a great deal more than just healthcare. In healthcare, the industry has already delivered miracle cures for several diseases, and there is a great deal more to come, and very soon. Biotech companies will solve our most intractable problems, from cancer, dementia, obesity and diabetes, to elderly care and numerous mental health conditions, including depression, for example. All of this, and the emerging field of longevity, which is the last to one chapter of the book, also brings onto the horizon the possibility of us being able to live much longer and healthier lives. Many entirely serious scientists believe that 70 or even 80 or 90 could soon be the new 40 for many of us alive today. Perhaps more important still, however, Biotech can and will be able to roll back environmental degradation and help clean our rivers and oceans, revolutionise agriculture and clean power generation, and even supercharge the processing power of our computers with new biological computing. We may not be too many years away from being able to store vast amounts of data without using any electricity, for example. 
I've been delighted by the response to the book so far from a number of leading figures in biotech, medicine and investment who were kind enough to read preview copies of the book over the last few months and provide us with some very lovely testimonials. And you may also have seen it reviewed in Money Week magazine last week if you read that magazine. So when you write a book, one of the main questions you get asked is, what do you want people to actually get out of the book? What do you want people to get out of it? And with respect to that, the book has three main tangible goals for anyone who reads it. First, to highlight what I believe is very likely to be the biggest investment theme of the next few decades. As I say in the book, tech has been the most important theme for human progress and wealth creation for the last century. Biotech is next. And if you want to own the world, you will want to be aware of all of this stuff. Secondly, the book covers a number of ideas which should be hugely helpful for your health and your mental health. The industry is delivering so much now to help us understand really complicated areas such as the right nutrition for you personally and things like the importance of cold exposure, breathing, sleep, movement and diet for our health, happiness and longevity. The middle third of the book is all about biotech and you and covers all of this stuff in some detail. And the third thing I really do hope that readers will get from the book is potentially even a sunnier disposition and a material improvement in your outlook, mood and conception of the world we live in, given just how revolutionary this stuff is going to be for our species and how exciting it all is. I'd like to think that many of the ideas laid out in the book could well just put a spring in your step. Because biotech means that we can all live better, safer, healthier, wealthier, happier, and hopefully quite a lot longer lives. So if you'd like to find out more, and if any of that sounds interesting, please do grab a copy. We'll obviously provide links underneath this video. Um, and for those overseas, or for those of you here in the UK too, the book's now available in the UK, US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. And it's available in print, ebook, and audio book formats too. So that's it for today. Next week, we'll get back to our usual series on financial education. And in the meantime, as ever, if you want to ensure that you're one of the first to see our videos when they're published, please, of course, do click the subscribe and bell buttons. And if you want to hear more from me, please do feel free to connect with me on any or all of LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter or X. So until next time, I wish you the very best. And if you go for it, I really do hope that you love the book. And of course, if you do uh, buy the book and read it and have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with me on any of those social platforms mentioned a second ago. Until then, very best.